Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to put together the fur plast for Vola hamster cage. Carefully take out all of the pieces. Here are all of the separated pieces on display. There is a wire cover and there is a plastic bottom. And it also comes with a lot of different useful items which I'll show you right now. A plastic house with a bottom, a wheel, a tube with a stainless steel ball inside. A large food bowl. A window where you can install tubing if you are wanting to purchase more tubing. I'll explain more about that later on in the video. So here's the plastic level up close. As you can see, there are two holes in it, the plastic base and the cage top. So as you can see over here, I'm trying to screw on the kind of holder um, and it's a little bit flimsy and then I add the wheel to it and as you can see the wheel is a little bit flimsy as well. So I tried to secure it but as you can see it kind of bounces up and down so the wheel isn't very secure. You need to turn the level around and then you need to attach the ladder that is shown over here. Turn it back again. Add the wiring on top. It's a little bit flimsy so it's hard to get it straight on top. Pull the handles down so that they click. And then this is the window that I was talking about. So um, if you wanted to add extra tubing, you would use it. As you can see over here, here are the separate bits of tubing. As you can see, they're very expensive each individual piece of tubing is expensive so if you wanted to create a maze for the hamster it would look something like this but it would cost you a lot of money because each individual piece is about five euros each but i would still really want to add tubing to my cage like this person has done over here so i guess if vola did decrease their prices of the tubing then i would totally buy it and then even make a video of me adding the tubing to the cage. So as you can see here, I'm screwing the cap of the water bottle on and then adding it to the top of the cage. The cage itself is a little bit flimsy when you're trying to put it together. So as you can see, I'm trying to align it. Um, and also when I'm trying to shut the they're not they're not really shutting they're kind of i mean they're hard to click so as you can see i'm struggling over here it was also quite hard to add the ladder on so we didn't actually record us putting the ladder on and then we were scared to take it off and try to record it for you guys to see so that's why you didn't see that part of the video and also this plastic this wheel over here that it comes with i wouldn't recommend you um, using it because here the plastic is very flimsy so it kind of just bounces like does that when he tries to run so it doesn't work and then he keeps on just falling out of it so we decided that we wouldn't use it and we'll throw it away It was also quite difficult to secure the clear window onto the cage. And the cage itself is very big as you can add lots and lots of different toys that, park on, that your hamster can play with. And also there'll be a new video where I add his old toys from his old cage into his new cage. So in conclusion, you need to be careful when you put it together, but once you have um, aligned everything together and put everything together, it is actually, the cage is actually quite sturdy and it fits exactly in my little space that I've got. I also really like the little window that I've got at the bottom, uh, like the bottom space area, because I can see where my hamster is running around and there's also a lot of surface area. So 
in conclusion, it is a lot better than my other cage. I would just say that um, it's easy to break something when you are um, aligning everything together. Okay, guys, so thank you so much for watching. Uh, this is his new cage right next to me. He's just sleeping at the moment. But um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and as much as I loved making it, um, making this cage. So yeah, bye.